why 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 oh why do hip hop has to be so damn retarded why does it have to be retarded this whole Lil Nas X song that I've been hearing on Twitter for the past few days this what Montero Montero whatever everybody's praising this song as something cool it's so funny it's, it's epic it's got a lot of views a lot of people are loving it a lot of people are digging it a lot of people are downloading it thumbing it up and giving a lot of praise to it on Twitter on YouTube and stuff like that you know it's, it's just got a lot of people talking about it and it's not the lyrics right it's not even the lyrics or what the song stand for because from what I can understand the song means absolutely nothing nothing in the song is inspiring nothing shows any sign of, of intelligence or anything complex or anything deep meaningful or there's a good storytelling or or it's really truthfully funny or anything that's like that's gonna last for the for the next few decades or something like that i'm gonna read the lyrics to you people of this song and i'm gonna tell you why this song is so popular after i'm done reading these lyrics so the song is called montero whatever call me by your name so the first verse goes by like this i caught it bad yesterday you hit me with a call to your place ain't been out in a while anyway was hoping i could catch you catch you throwing smiles in my face romantic talking you don't even have to try you're cute enough to fuck me tonight but looking at the table all I see is weed and white. Baby, you live in life, but nigga, you ain't living right. So this is the pre-chorus. Cocaine and drinking with your friends. You living in the dark, boy. I cannot pretend I'm not phased. Only here to sin. If Eve ain't in your garden, you know that you can. And then there's the chorus. Call me what you want. Call me when you need. Call me in the morning. I'll be on the way. Call me when you want, call me with you, okay, it just repeats it. And then it's just the post chorus, mm 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 mm, -mm like six times. Verse two, A, A, I wanna sell what you're buying. I wanna feel on your ass in Hawaii. I want that jet lag from fucking and flying. Shoot a child in your mouth while I'm riding. Oh, 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 why me? A sign of the times every time that I speak a dime in a nine it was mine every week what a time an incline God was shining on me now I can't leave and now I'm acting hella elite never want the n****s that's in my league I want to fuck the ones I envy I envy then it goes pre-chorus chorus post-chorus is this oh call me by your name mm 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 <clears throat> Tell me you love me in private. Call me by your name. Mm -mm -mm. I don't. I do not care if you lying. So basically, what he's talking about, he wants to have sex. You know, he's he's. You know, that's all I'm getting out of this. Just nothing but oh, I'm horny, and I want to have sex. And he's talking about a little bit of biblical stuff. Now, the reason why this song is getting so much popular and getting so much attention, it, again, because them lyrics are just fucking weak. They, were, they didn't mean nothing. They were not trying to captivate anything. It was not romantic. It didn't feel like anything. It was not funny. What was really the reason why that song got popular was the music video itself. And the one part in there, I didn't watch the music video, but it was one part that was trending on Twitter worldwide was when Satan, the devil himself, was touching him. Lil Nas X was wearing female clothing and, you know, twerking in front of Satan and he's sitting on his throne and he's touching him on the booty and all that and tickling his butt crack and, and you know, he's doing lap dances for him and Satan's loving it. It's like, this is what the mainstream music is giving us. This is what we're supposed to praise. And people will get mad at me for saying, Whoa, come on, TG Venom. Why can you be so close-minded? There, man, there's so much creativity. This is creativity? No, this is horse shit. And I'm sick and tired of these damn musical artists. I don't care what genre it is. This, pop, rap, a uh, 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 black metal. I don't care. I'm so sick and tired of these artists going out there trying to act like they're so core, cool innovative because they're singing about Satan. 
and like, oh, I love Satan. Let me have sex with Satan. Six, six, six. Apparently, Lil Nas X got some Satan Nike brand shoes of his own. No, no you guys are a bunch of cornballs. You know, Kesha tried to do it. You know, these black metal artists try to do it. He's trying to do this. It's not cool, okay? Stop talking about the devil like it's such a cool and edgy thing. You guys look like a bunch of cornball goofballs. You guys look idiotic. You guys look like a bunch of clowns. You guys are so lame. I'm not even looking at it as a religious thing because I'm an atheist. I don't care about that. But at the same time, it's so cringy. It's not fucking cool. Stop. Knock it off. You guys look so dumb. Why are you doing that? That's not artsy. It's so corny. And since when, when was having anal sex with Satan or Lucifer or whatever you want to call him, it's considered talent in your music videos. What is so artsy about that? That is so corny. Okay, I'm not even a religious person. I don't care about that. I'm not into religious type of music, but come on. If you're going to do some, if you want to talk about Satan, like do it in a cool way, at least whoop his ass, beat his ass. How about have him on your chain on a leash and making him your bitch? I swear this generation loves some of the most goofiest, the dumbest, and most irritating, mind-numbingly garbage that you can ever, and people wonder why. Why are the kids and young adults are so damn dumb these days? Why are teenagers are so ignorant? Because look what they're listening to. Look who they're looking up to. Look who they want to be like. Bad Baby? Bad Bunny? Huh? Lil Nas X? Cardi B? Look, Cardi B with the WAP song. Apparently, this is how much views it got right now. The WAP song. And people wonder, why do I get so mad at this? Because, there's again, there's so much good musicians out there. They're good, great musicians on YouTube, Facebook, or, or Twitter, Instagram, on SoundCloud, on Spotify, whatever. And they're getting overlooked for this like this? Do I have to go and do stuff like this just to get famous? I don't want to be famous. Fuck the fame. And you know something that I've just, just thought about? It is so hypocritical that these stupid hip-hop fans, right? They always want to bash people like Hobson. His music is numb for school shooters and white people that think they're so hood and all that. And they think they're cool because they listen to Hobson. And they're just a bunch of angry atheists that be listening to his music. That's it, right? But, you know, you love this guy, Lil Nas X. Are you kidding me? You love that, but you hate Hobson. Hobson don't do that. I mean, you don't have to like the guy, but come on. Hobson better than this bullshit. Okay, I'm not saying Hobson is the greatest, but Hobson is decent compared to these fucking new garbage rappers like Lil Baby or Da Baby or, or, or this horse shit or Cardi B. Come on, man. And you people love this. You people love that. But get mad at Hobson. Get mad at Tom McDonald. I mean, they're not the greatest rappers, but you know what? At least they're way better than this dumb shit. At least they'll sing about some rap about some. I meant to say. This Lil Nas X guy, he ain't rapping about anything. It's terrible. It's not good. It's complete shit. It's not good. Tell me it's good. I'm so sick of this rap music. I'm so tired of it. Rap music needs to finally just die. Just hurry up and die. I don't even, I, I don't even care what happens to rap music no more. If you're going to keep promoting crap like this... And keep promoting garbage ass artists from the underground to make them mainstream. And there's going to be a lot more sellouts now. Just let this shit die. Hurry up and die already. I'm, I, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of rap music. What, what is he, a Satanist? Was he an atheist? I don't give a damn what the hell he is. All I know is this song sucks. It's garbage. It's complete trash. It's not innovative. It's not cool. If it's a troll rap song, that's been done many of times by people who are actually more funnier than this dude. I don't know what this guy is about. I haven't listened to his music. And quite frankly, I don't want to listen to his music. I just really don't. Because from what I'm hearing, it's the only thing, the reason why he's popular so much is because he's an open homosexual rapper, I guess. That's it? That's all what it takes to get over in the rap game? Is that it? Like I said, let rap die, man. I'm tired of this damn stupid, garbage, retarded genre. Oh, listen to the underground. I don't, I don't even want to listen to rap no more. I'm so turned off by it so much. I'd rather go listen to the rock or metal. At least those guys come off more masculine and more cooler. Again, stop trying to build up Satan like he's cool like Kesha. Remember when she was kind of doing that? And her pop songs and when she was popular with the pentagrams and all that. Man, and with the goat head. You're all not cool. You guys look stupid. You guys look like you're trying too hard to be artsy when you don't have no creative bone in your body. Fuck y'all. Fuck, I hate it when people do that.
Be more original. Be creative. And stop using Satan as a crutch to make your music get more views and stuff like that and get more viral hits.